Hey, this is Jim with NDI November. I want to thank another repeat guest for joining us here on the show, and that is Shannon from Peak Media. Hi, Shannon. How are you? Hey, Jim. I'm doing wonderful. Thanks for having me back. Uh, we love that all of our fans of NDI November keep on coming back to join us. And I'm super excited about some of the content that we're going to talk about today because Peak Media has been doing a lot in the NDI world. And you have a really interesting case study to present with some of the work that you were doing with Comcast West. Before we get into that case study, and I promise your audience is going to be worth your time, let me take this opportunity to have Shannon introduce herself and introduce Peak Media and the great stuff that they do. Yeah, so um, Shannon Shear with Peak Media. We are a small AV integrator distributor, um, and we are located out of Denver, Colorado, have been doing this for just over 25 years and have just loved the flexibility that NDI has um, allowed us to be able to incorporate into our workflow and solutions, the affordability of it, and just all of the great features. So it's been fun to be part of this with you guys and just kind of talk a little bit more about how we are using NDI for our customer solutions. Shannon, I love the humble Brad talking about how you are a small AV integrator. <laughs> you might be a local AV integrator, but some of the projects you're working on are really not quite small at all. And I think that's one of the exciting things about the NDI world is that you can really scale some of these production solutions and installations to give you a hybrid, a remote workflow, or everything in between. And that's where Shannon is going to introduce us to a couple of guys that you've worked with at Comcast West. Can you tell us a little bit about this project? Yes, absolutely. I'd love to. So Comcast approached me to help them develop a solution to reduce the excessive costs that they were spending by outsourcing their production to external companies. And so when we looked at their internal team, they had the creative expertise, they had the production capabilities to manage it all in-house. They just needed some guidance from me as to what hardware solutions they would need to bring on site that would allow them to bring that production in-house and um, benefit from all those savings. So it was pretty early on in the discovery phase where it became clear that building the solution around NDI was the right approach um, for a couple of reasons, but mainly because what they were trying to do was um, support the entire Western region. So it wasn't just that they were bringing it in-house into their headquarters, they were actually trying to expand that and bring in all of their satellite locations. So. Uh, we looked at cameras from Panasonic where the NDI capabilities allowed them to remote into all of their cameras for control, video feed, audio, as well as provide power. And then we um, used the VizRT TriCaster um, because of its ability to bring in numerous NDI sources, but also that it just has really incredible production capabilities with the mixed effects, graphics, and that they could really engage their end users with what the TriCaster allows them to be able to do. So um, we were very pleased with how everything turned out as the solution enabled uh, Comcast to at a very low entry price point to be able to take that in-house, save that significant amount of money, but it also gave them the ability to manage their local hybrid and remote meetings in an efficient manner um, with complete creative control and um, just really taking that production value to the next level. So with that being said, um, this project would not be nearly successful as it has been without the expertise of two incredible gentlemen at Comcast. So I would like to introduce Derek and Justin, who have made everything work together and just really added their expertise as well to the solution. So Derek and Justin. Hey, guys. Thank you, Shannon. Hey, guys. How's it going? Thank you so much. Appreciate it. it. Doing really well, Shannon. Thank you so much for introducing us to the team over at Comcast. You know, it's always exciting when we get to talk to our system integrators like Peak Media about the interesting projects that they get involved in. But it's even more exciting when we get to hear from the people like Derek and Justin who are using the equipment themselves. So the fact that you invited Derek and Justin to join us today to kind of show off what they're doing at Comcast West, I think this is going to be a tremendous value for our audience on NDI November. So I'm really excited to meet you guys, Derek. Thank you for joining us. 
Hello everyone and thank you so much for joining us today. Appreciate it guys. My name is Derek Borilski and we're going to give you a brief overview of how we use NDI in our corporate live event productions here in the Comcast West division. Hope this overview will give you a little bit of guidance on your own NDI network and workflows. At the end we'll be happy to share this deck as well as answer any questions you may have. Once again, my name is Derek Borilski and I'm joined by my esteemed colleague Justin Salvia who is our technical director and broadcast producer. Together, we make up the live event broadcast and productions team for the Comcast West Division. We are coming live from the live event control room here in Denver, Colorado. And here we produce a variety of events, but these generally include virtual events, which are NDI-centered remote productions, integrated Microsoft Teams, TriCaster and RTMP streaming to Vimeo. We do hybrid events, which are multi-cam events from our first floor event space, controlled on the fourth floor control room where we are right now. We do remote hybrid events, which are multi-cam events, remote Western Comcast sites, with all NDI sources sent back to this control room for broadcast. Now I'll dive in a little bit more on each of these sections here. So our virtual events. We bring all NDI sources into the TriCaster vision from, from a virtual Microsoft Teams green room. We cut between speakers content, custom graphics with our NDI production workflow. We also have a dedicated graphic design team on site here that develops event specific graphics that provide creativity and uniqueness into every broadcast. They implement we implement various multi boxes and layouts for panel discussions. We handle all video playback for the, through the TriCaster vision. We also deliver the final pro, uh, program via RTMP live stream to Vimeo, ensuring high quality, low latency for our virtual attendees. Additionally, we manage uh, attendee chat and polls, copying any of the questions back to the Microsoft Teams green room here. Now for our on-premise events, we broadcast a live in-person event simultaneously to a virtual audience. This dedicated infrastructure ensures high quality, streamlined hybrid production right here at our West Division headquarters. These multi-cam events are located on the first floor of our building, control room here on the fourth floor. Each, cam uh, each camera is NDI enabled to send sources back up to this control room here. This includes three PTZ cameras, as well as two additional cameras that are connected to NDI converter boxes. For the local audio mix, the A1 mixes locally for both in-room show and the broadcast simultaneously. We do a main out of the mix to the room. Now a broadcast mix is also implemented here with an audio aux bus channel sent to a, tri uh, to a new TechSpark encoder and back to the room's TriCaster for broadcast audio. The in-room tech here is a 40, includes a 45 panel 1.9 LED wall uh, with a Novastar video splicer. We have two TriCaster minis controlling the in-room screens for LED wall and projection. Both TriCaster minis have access to all of our NDI sources on our network. We have one Spark that displays a return feed, uh, confidence monitor feed for the in-room presenters. The A1 operates an Allen Heath SQ5 for simultaneous in-room and uh, broadcast audio mixing. And we then stream the final program from the TriCaster Vision via RTMP to a Teradek Prism, which then delivers our feed to Vimeo. Chat questions are then also shared live with the in-room presenters. We can also broadcast from any West Division regional office or location that has access to our enterprise network. We have a local crew on each site that deploys on-site NDI-enabled equipment, sending all live audio and video signals back to our Denver control room here. And we cut the show and it's broadcasted out via Vimeo. Our remote sites are multi-cam events located on Comcast regional sites, uh, Texas, Washington, Minnesota, Colorado, and California. Each camera is NDI enabled and sends the source back to the control room here in Denver. This includes three PTZ cameras as well as two additional cameras usually with NDI converter boxes. A1 mixes uh, simultaneously in-room and broadcast audio mixing. And again, the audio aux channel is routed to the Denver control room via an NDI spark that's connected to our network. Some of the technology we use for these events, TriCaster Mini, we actually ship it out to each location for each event, and that, uh, that TriCaster Mini then has access to all of our NDI sources. We utilize multicast NDI server for this. Coordination is key between the TriCaster Vision in this control room and the TriCaster Mini on site. Both TDs need to be in sync for video playback and any other show flow things that we need to make sure go well. One of the NDI Spark decoders also displays the return feed and for the confidence monitors for the in-room presenters. 
And then again, NDI enabled PTZ cameras allow for full remote control and tally from our Denver control room. We also streamed the final program from the TriCast division, RTMP to Teradek Prism to Vimeo. However, none of this would be possible if it wasn't for our discovery server. The NDI discovery server is essential for making this entire workflow possible. The NDI discovery server is strategically hosted on our company-wide enterprise network residing in the Potomac National Data Center. Remote login provides flexibility to activate this service instantly regardless of our location, as long as we can VPN in we can connect to this server. Comcast robust enterprise network serves as the global backbone, enabling us to connect all NDI sources worldwide. The Discover server also lets uh, NDI signals easily cross subnets within the enterprise network. And all sources on our NDI network are available to anyone with access to the server and a connection to our enterprise network. So I have a quick diagram here. Here you can see a quick, uh, here you can see the discovery server enables complex workflows to function across different network segments. Since the sources are in subnet one here and the destinations are on two, the server allows them to find it and communicate with one another effectively acting as a bridge across the subnets. So Colorado serves as our West Division headquarters for this and is a central operational hub for our NDI network. The lines here connecting Colorado to these five other states, Washington, Oregon, California, Minnesota, and Texas, illustrates a seamless low latency communication achieved by leveraging Comcast's robust enterprise network. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much and happy to take any questions. Thank you. We are always excited to share some exciting stories like that with our NDI November audience. It is one of the reasons why we put these shows together Derek, thank you so much for sharing your workflows there out at Comcast West. You know, one of the things that I really love that you talked about is how you're doing these remote production, virtual and hybrid productions, and even the on-prem productions using all of those same NDI sources throughout all of these different applications. Shannon spoke about in her intro how you were able to put all this together at a very affordable price. I think that the price point comes from just the true flexibility that it gives you where you didn't have to build four different workflows for all the different things you're doing, right? Yeah, you know, with the help of the discovery server and just how we're connecting all of our NDI sources together, it really, as long as it's NDI enabled, we can connect it to our, to our workflow and do high quality productions here from Denver. It's really robust and amazing what we can do here. It, it really is. It's absolutely awesome. Thank you again for sharing that workflow. Um, I do want to bring Shannon back to thank her for giving us the introduction uh, to these great guys at Comcast West. Uh, they really have some powerful production tools out there, Shannon. Great job. Thank you. They really do. And like I said, they are two very talented individuals who have really been able to take the technology and figure out a great workflow and how to make it work for them. So we're uh, very grateful that they're willing to share that with your audience today. Absolutely. And as Derek and Justin shared, if you have questions about their workflow, you can feel free to reach out to them directly. If you're looking for an NDI solution on your own, you're in the Denver, Colorado area, you'd like to work with Peak Media, you can reach out to Shannon and her team at peakmediainc.com or at 877-728-7325. And Shannon, for those in the area that would like to meet you in person, we can send them to the AVX Expo next week, right? Yes, absolutely. We're so excited. The AV Expo is as strong as ever, and it's just kind of a mini NAB type environment that's held here locally where all the major manufacturers come, showcase their equipment. You get a really great one-on-one -on -one opportunity to speak with the manufacturers, not in a busy, crowded setting. And so we'd love to have you guys come out. And if you want to reach out to me in advance, I can take you around and show you some of the NDI solutions that we've talked about today. That's excellent. Shannon, thank you again for joining us. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of NDI November. Stay tuned. We've got more all week, all month long, ndinovember.com. One registration gives you access to all of this great content and more.